three, two, one. Hey, the Attitudes. I'm so excited to be back for this week's variety show. Thank you, Gina. That was an awesome, awesome warm up. Don't you love what she does? She's amazing, isn't she? Hey, we're going to need weight, a ball, and a band. So, all three toys. And you know what? Michael wanted me to tell you that if you are missing equipment and you want to check it out, you can go check it out from him from the office. Did you know that? Yeah, you don't have to use water bottles if you don't want to. Go talk to Mike. He'll get you set up with some equipment. All right, now that you're all warmed up, we're just gonna get right into it. So I want you to grab your hand weights. And again, if you don't like the hand weights for your shoulders, just join along with a closed fist. Okay, let's grab these guys. All right, I wanna do a little bit of a rotation. We're gonna warm up those rotator cuffs with the resistance you know, no disrespect to Miss Gina here, but I want to add that resistance to it. So we're just turning those arms outward. Okay, bend those elbows. Let's turn this into an exercise. It's in with the heel, in with the heel, in with the heel. Good, give me eight. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Weights down by your side. Watch your feet. Put them in neutral. That means your heels are right below your pelvic bones. We're going to do a little bit of a combo. A squat, stand, and side arm raise. It's going to look like this. We're going to squat back. Now, when you squat, make sure your knees stay behind the edges of your toes. You're pushing straight up. Once you complete that, arms come out to the side, no higher than your shoulders, and bring it in. Okay, you ready? We'll do a couple practice before I start to count. It looks like this. Down, up, sidearm, return. Down, up, here we go. Down, up, eight, return. Down. Seven, down, up, six, down, up, five, stick your butt back, four, down, up, three, down, up, two, down, up, and one. Whew. Okay, we're going to take those weights over your head. So. If you need to change weights or put them down, go ahead and do that. We're gonna do an Arnold press. So if you need to do it with a closed fist, you can. Palms are facing in, okay? Facing your own face. We're gonna swing these open to a goal post, just like a football goal post. We're gonna press them overhead. They're not touching. We're just going straight overhead. We're gonna to return to the goal post and we're gonna rotate in back at that chin and that's our beginning and ending point. Okay, now that's a lot going on, so we're not gonna move any legs. We're just gonna focus on the upper body. All right, starting position, here we go. Open, press, down, rotate in, here you go. Open, here's eight, down, rotate in, do it again. Open, for seven, down, rotate in, rotate open for six, bring it down, rotate in, rotate open for five, bring it down, rotate in, rotate open, big move, four, bring it down, rotate in, rotate open for three, Take it down, rotate in, rotate open, overhead press for two, down, one more, take it open, overhead press, finish it out, down, and in, oh, take those arms down, a little relief. Okay, now rotate backwards, your palms are facing the back of the room. So let's do a straight arm press to stretch it out and work our back. 
and add a little heel. Push, push, push. If you don't like the heel portion, that's okay. Just move your arms. We're squeezing that back. Squeeze. Give me eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, fantastic. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it's time for a little bit of balance. So put those weights right in your chair. Let's come to the side of the chair. As always, you've got your chair there to hold on. And I'm going to challenge you to do the best you can without reaching for the chair, but never put yourself in a position where you're not safe. All right, we're going to do a little bit of a donkey kick. So we're going to work that right leg. So we're going to pick it up. We're going to kick behind, bring the knee in and down. Now the chair is there if you need it, okay? All right, so it's going to go a little quicker. You want to try it? It looks like this. Kick and down. Knee. Kick, back, and down. Here we go. Kick, back. There's eight. Kick, back for seven. Knee kick, back for six. Knee kick, back for five. The chair is there if you need it. Four. Knee kick, knee. There's three. Knee kick, knee for two. Knee kick, knee, and one. Let's go to the other side. I know this one was a little tough. If you had to hold on the whole time, that's okay. I really threw a doozy in there. Okay. Same thing on this side. The chair is there if you need it, okay? It looks like this. Knee, kick, knee, return. Knee, kick, through the heel. Here we go. Knee, kick, knee, there's eight. Knee, kick, knee for seven. Knee, kick. Knee for six. Knee, kick. Knee for five. Knee, kick. Knee for four. Knee, kick. Knee for three. Knee, kick. Knee for two. Knee, kick. Knee and one. That was tough. Your legs need a rest. Let's hit the chair. All right. We're going to swap those weights for our band. All right, Ooh, it's good to have a little rest now, huh? Okay, we are gonna put this around our body. So we're gonna open with a little chest press. So put it around your back, under your arms, you're gonna hold the ends of your bands. We're gonna extend the arms to do a little bit of a chest press, okay? All right, so sit tall, feet flat on the floor. Here we go. Out, hold, and in. Eight, and in. Seven, and in. Six, and in. Exhale, five, and in. Four, and in. Three, and in. Two, and in, one more, one, and in. Okay, so now we're gonna do a straight arm fly. I don't honestly know if I could do it with this band. You remember, my band broke last week, and the one I got is a lot tighter than the one I've been using. So if I could do it, you can do it. So you're gonna take those arms straight up to the side. We're gonna bring the straight arms forward. Woo, that's gonna be work. And out to the side, so watch your posture. All right, here we go. Bring it in, hold, and open. There's eight. In for seven. Exhale, in for six. In for five. In for four. In for three. In for two. In. And one. Whew. Don't think 
this isn't hurting me. This is killing me. This is a super tight band. Okay, what else I got for you? Oh, let's do some tricep extension. So here's what I want you to do. You can take the band over your shoulder, okay? So hold that knot in your left hand. The band goes over your left shoulder. Take your right hand and reach behind you. Just grab your band anywhere. You're in control of your resistance. Lift your elbow, point it towards me. Okay, you're gonna pull that band, oh, mine's super tight, and straighten it right on the same height as your shoulder, and then you're gonna bend it, keeping that elbow high. Here we go. Take it out, hold, and bend. Here's eight, hold, and bend. Exhale, seven, hold, and bend. Six, hold, and bend. Five, and bend. Four, and bend. Three, and bend. Two, and bend. One, and bend. Whew. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling that in the shoulder, are you? Let's switch sides. Okay, you're holding that knot now with your right hand. Left hand comes behind, just grabs that man. Okay, it looks like this. You're just grabbing it behind, doesn't matter where. Now, give yourself a practice one. Elbow is up. You want to be able to straighten that arm and bend it. So make any adjustments you need to. Pull it tighter or looser with that left hand. Elbow up. Here we go. Take it out, hold, and bend. Give me eight. Eight, hold, and bend. Seven, hold, and bend. Hold and bend. Exhale five and bend. Exhale four and bend. Three, hold and bend. Two, hold and bend. One more. One, hold and bend. Okay. All right. So we're going to the ball. We're staying in our seat. One more and then we're going to get up. So put that band aside and safely grab your ball. <clears throat> All right. And what am I doing? Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to work the king side of that shoulder. So one arm with that ball. All right. We're going to turn it up, straight arm, pull it in, take it out, turn it down, do it again. Turn the ball up, pull it in. Take it out, turn it down. Okay, now we're gonna go a little bit faster. Here we go. Up, in, out, and down. Up, in, out. Two more. Up, in, out. One more. Up, in, out, and down. Okay, last set. We're gonna run it all together. It's gonna be two steps. In and out, in, eight, in, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, other side, change hands. Okay, nice and slow. You're gonna extend that arm, move it from the shoulder. Here we go. Turn it up, pull it back, Take it out, turn it down. One more slow, turn it up, pull it back. Take it out, turn it down a little faster. Up, in, out, down, up, in, out. Two more, up, in, out. One more, up, in, out, and down. Okay. Last set, we're gonna run it all together. Two counts. In and out. In. Eight. In. Seven. In. Six. In. Five. In. Four. In. Three. In. Two. In. And one. Whew. Okay. Grab your ball. Come on up to standing. Your legs have rested long enough. Okay. 
Put that ball between your thighs, right above the knees. Okay, hamstring curls, right and left, right and left, right and left. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last set, it's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet down, up on the toes. Eight. Calf raises, you can use this as a balance. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and I think we've done it. All right, that's all for my segment. So I wish you well, enjoy the rest of the show, and Gina's gonna take you down, get your blood cooled down, your joints cooled down, and she's gonna do a wonderful uh, stretch with you. Until next week, bye-bye, you guys.